everyone. So today I wanted to go ahead and film a makeup routine. I don't think I've filmed one of these in forever. Um, at least one that was not just like a chatty get ready with me. One where I'm actually maybe like talking about the products a little bit more. Please excuse the fan I have going down there if you can hear it. I just... <laughs> It is so hot in my room right now, you guys. If I attempt to film this video without it, everything will just slide right off. So please excuse that. I'll try and speak up. Um, but yeah, basically, if you saw on Instagram a little while back, Glossier was kind enough to send me some products to try out. I've been really curious about the brand for a long time. They're obviously very hyped up, but I have seen like reviews that were maybe a little bit mixed. So I want to try them for myself and Everything I'm featuring in this video, I actually genuinely like. They are not paying me to talk about the products. They have just said to be the products for free. So that's, I guess, the, the payment um, of this video. But otherwise, I have a lot of other products that aren't Glossier to talk about. It's just going to be a good time, I think. So I'm pretty excited. I hope you guys are as well. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into my face. Get into my face. I don't think I'll ever say that phrase ever again. Didn't like it. Okay, moving on. So I have this Murad uh, moisturizer. This is the Balancing Moisturizer. I think I have already talked about it in a Get Ready With Me, Chatty Get Ready With Me. But basically, it's just a really lightweight balancing moisturizer. Probably won't repurchase it just because... I don't know, it's a little pricey for what it is, but yeah, so. And then, as that is drying, I've got a little postcard. Sorry, it's, ooh, there's some naked people on that. Probably can't show that on YouTube. But basically, as that's drying, then I will put on some lip balm. Um, they did send me the balm.com, which is perhaps something some of you guys will be interested in, but I'll probably talk about that more in my skincare video if I post one of those soon, which I'm thinking I will. Um, I use that more at night. So this is the Urban Decay Makeup Rehab Prep Lip Love that I talked about in my favorites video that I enjoy quite a bit. It's just a little bit more lightweight, but still like really gets the job done. Okay, so now that everything is, well not, not <laughs> everything is not prepped and primed yet. I also use the Murad Oil Control Mattifier. Both of this and the moisturizer also have SPF 15, which is great, but I basically take teeny bit of that. I think you guys have seen me use this about 8 million times, but oh well. And I just use that to sort of mattify areas on the face. And by areas, I mean everywhere because I am oily. We're gonna pop into a new product you guys haven't seen me use, but you've probably seen approximately 27 million other YouTubers use it. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. <laughs> Still can't remember the name, even though I've seen it several times but yeah i actually really really dig this stuff let me bring up my mirror a little bit i have never tried a nars concealer i've never tried the little is it called like the creamy radiant something or another concealer never tried that but i was intrigued by this one since it had matte in the name and since i am oily i thought perhaps i would enjoy it better but really i just use it under the eyes as you can see it's like super brightening i look terrifying right now but it will you know blend out in a second here i promise <laughs> maybe a teeny bit whatever's left on the finger around the nose it just looks a little red today for some reason okay so that's pretty much that before i move on to setting my face i don't wear foundation in case you guys were curious i think that's been made pretty clear in most of my videos but if you're new to the videos or whatever that's just something i wanted to let you know these i have to talk about the cloud paints from glossier these are some of the most hyped up products right now, I would say, from the brand and totally worth the hype. I was thinking that I would hate these. I haven't used a cream blush in I'm not sure how long, but they are great. I know some people on YouTube will like use this slightly darker one, this is Dusk, as a contour and puff as their actual blush but since i am brown that doesn't really work for me so i just like them each on their own just depending on the look i'm going for and i'll actually talk about they go really really well with some like corresponding lip colors but today i'm going for more of a pinky fresh summer look it's the one i've been preferring of the two looks i've kind of been jumping between lately so well actually kind of three just depending on my lip products but yeah so that's what i'm gonna do today take a little bit of that like I think if, you know, you want that just glowy, glossier type look, this is the one to really help you get there. Rub out the eye creases a little bit and then we're gonna set everything with the same old powder that I always use. This is the NYX HD Finishing Powder. I'm actually almost out of it, so I'll probably be trying a new one soon. Um, just cause I think this is like 
my fifth or sixth repurchase of it. I have no clue. I've used it so many times at this point. So yeah, let me know what your guys' favorite um, finishing powders are. I really do prefer pressed ones. I'm thinking of trying the Soap and Glory one. See, I told you this would turn into a chatty get ready with me. I'm thinking of trying the Soap and Glory one. One heck of a blot. So yeah, we'll see about that. And then I do take this and set it the blush as well just because I kind of have to I wish I was the type of person who didn't have to like set everything because there's a product I'm going to use at the end that would really make that like it would make a nice look if I didn't have to set it but I do anyway okay so now that we've got that I'm going to take this big guy this is the number six blush from or brush rather from NYX and then I'm going into this elf uh, Turks and Caicos little duo thing I actually got this recently even though it's not a new product but um can't use that guy that's supposed to be a blush which okay not on me but this is a really really great bronzer and even though it um has some shimmer in it you really don't see it once it's on the face so I'm actually going to use it as more of a contour pretty intense as you can see and then up here a little bit evened out before proceeding and then blend everything out this is like the most I've you know ever done for a routine in a long time like since I was in high school but I'm really enjoying it I do think it like does make a difference and I have fun doing it that's the that's the whole point of makeup really is just making sure you're having fun with it okay so I think we're looking nice and cornswood. I'm still using my tried and true Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I might switch to a new product soon because again, this is one that I have had for millions and millions of years, but it just works so well. And you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And then I just take that. I Okay, so I've been actually kind of doing something slightly different with the brows. Make sure everything is combed upward upward <laughs> upward fill that in kind of lightly not really lightly because I feel like I can't do that especially focusing on like the patchier parts over here and then very lightly as I bring it in and then I kind of with the brush really make sure that's blended out and then I'm gonna do something else with the rest in a second but let's do this guy first kind of weird but it's just because the lines like are really prevalent if I don't blend them out in the front we're gonna take the iconic boy brow from Glossier it was upside down when I showed it there you go basically this is not one of the colored ones so I thought I wasn't gonna like it but honestly I'm enjoying it although if I do repurchase this on my own which I probably will I will get it tinted but what I've been doing is just kind of going for that more feathered look so at the front, really concentrating on getting those guys up and feathery, and then just lightly finishing off the back. But I feel like it gives a pretty, like, ethereal kind of young summer look. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe everyone's disagreeing with me right now. That's fine. This is the thing you always see me do. I'm going to line my eyes with the Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper because this is something that I will always repurchase and not get sick of and feel like oh maybe it's time to switch things up no never time to switch things up with this guy but this I really have to concentrate on so no no chatting right now <laughs> So after that, then I'm going to use this Urban Decay Subversion Lash Primer that really helps my mascara to stay on and not flake. And also, of course, just make the lashes look a little thicker, a little longer. Beautiful. Into the Better Than Sex from Too Faced. I think that is pretty much it. Which... I really think this makes such a big difference using that primer, but you know, I'm just saying. We're almost done. Here is a step that I think is probably my favorite step now, and I have mentioned it a couple times on Instagram, although I haven't said like the actual product, but I have been using the Glossier Halo Scope, which is this really nice stick highlighter, and I know 
it is a rule to not put cream products on after powder but I don't care just popping this on the cheekbone just look at that initial swipe too like it kills me every time I feel like it still blends out fine even over powder products but maybe that's just me maybe I'm an idiot maybe it looks like crap right now that's fine I think it looks gorgeous this is one that I actually had almost bought before Glossier reached out to me so just know once this guy is gone which not sure when I'm gonna use it up because it seems like a lot of product but when it is I will definitely be repurchasing it and I think they actually have a couple other colors sorry we're starting to get a little sunstroke here I don't want to lose my light not the best but we're almost done guys <laughs> then I just take a little bit on the finger go up the nose a little bit the brow bones just like <sighs> this is definitely like a favorite right now this is like a summer staple if you want to look like a glossy glowing goddess this summer this is the only product you need I swear and then on the pinky real small we're gonna go in here now we just have to do the lips and there's a couple options that I'll take. I usually will either line with, this is one that you've seen me use before, this is the Sonia Kashuk Maple one, sort of a lighter, light kind of neutral shade for me. But I've recently purchased this, which I think is beautiful. This is the Bite Beauty um, lip pencil in 032. I hate their naming system, but it is what it is. And this is a slightly darker, like rosier one. So I'm probably gonna lean towards this today. And then on top, I've either been doing, Glossier sent me a couple of the Generation G um, matte lip balm stick things. That's not what the product is called. I'm gonna try and link as much stuff as I can below, but basically, they are these sort of like really sheer but pretty buildable lip colors. So this is the color Like. So it's sort of a nice pink color, which is the one I typically wear with this look. But this one is like one of my faves. I think this is Leo. And this is like a nice brown kind of warm shade. Very pretty as well, in my opinion. But if I'm leaning more towards like an actual lip stick for the day, I've also recently purchased from Bite um, Chai, which I think is like a holy grail lipstick. The color is perfect if you want that sort of like everyday whatever. And this is like a quick swipe, like I should have shown on camera, like intense, not a buildable sort of situation. You could like tap it on and like really sheer it out, but I, you know, if I'm going for this, I'm usually going for that. But I think what we're gonna do is take the Bite lip pencil and the Like um, Generation G lip product. And I'm not gonna like put this on too intensely, just enough to kind of keep the Glossier one there, because otherwise it's a very, like I said, sheer color. I also really just like the finish of these and how they wear. That is everything then. So this is my sort of everyday summer makeup routine. Getting close for you so you can see everything, but it's very light and pretty and pinky and girly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what kind of stuff you wanna see next on this channel, but that is it for now. I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Everyone.